everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about eggplant and I have some quick serving ideas and just some little tips for you along the way when you're using eggplant. For one thing we know that eggplant can be used in a variety of ways. It can be baked and roasted and steamed, fried, you can stuff it, puree it, use it in casseroles and soups and incorporate it in all kinds of ethnic cuisine dishes, all sorts of things. So it's very, very versatile food to use. Some quick ideas here. You can puree roasted eggplant and, and puree it with garlic and tahini, lemon juice, cumin, and olive oil. And you'll be making a homemade baba ganoush. And that is a Middle Eastern dish. It's like a thick sauce or a dip. It's really good. So you might try that sometime. You can roast eggplant whole, and to do that, you don't peel it, you just poke it with a fork to allow some steam to escape, and you put it in a tray in a 400 degree oven and just allow it to roast for 15 to 25 minutes or so until it collapses. And uh, you'll know it's done when uh, it collapses and when you can easily poke it with a fork, that sort of thing. So then you just take it out, allow it to cool down, then you can scoop the pulp out and use it in a dip or a sauce or a soup, something like that. How about combining baked eggplant cubes with peppers of whatever sort, cooked lentils, onions, and garlic, and then top it with a balsamic vinaigrette? That sounds like a nice, complete meal salad to me. Now a tip for you is eggplant is like a sponge and it does absorb oil very, very quickly when you're pan frying it. You can help to minimize that by salting the eggplant slices first and allowing them to sweat out and, and you can, might allow it to sweat for up to 30 minutes. And then rinse them really well and then pat them dry with a paper towel and just like squeeze them some to compress those eggplant slices. And compressing it like that will help the eggplant to be a little bit meatier and less absorbent so then you can bread them as you normally would and pan fry them and they won't absorb quite as much oil that way. Another quick tip, which you know if you've used eggplant, is that the longer you cook it, the softer it becomes. So, uh, you know, it does not take long for it to become soft, but it's very flavorful at that point at any rate. Now, if you want to grill eggplant, just cut off the stem ends and then slice it into about one and a half inch thick wedges and grill it until it's streaked with the, the brown grill marks and it's tender. It might take 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, somewhere in there. Well, these are just some quick ideas. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments below or any other quick tips that you want to add to the mix when using eggplant. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.